A'udhu billahi minna shaitan ar-rajim, bismillahi r-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ayyuhu nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa bishmaqli sadri wa yasirli amri wa hlul uqadatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Alhamdulillah, um, I think we got cut off, but alhamdulillah, welcome, this is episode three, um, we're going to cover step two, um, take a break, uh, we're officially on the transition remix train. With Allah's permission, and we're heading towards our miracle the miracle that Allah has promised us, the miracle that we're working for. This is the month of miracles. This is Ramadan. This is the month of the miracle. You're a miracle. What miracle are you asking Allah for? What miracle are you asking Allah for? Whatever miracle that is, um, continue to ask Allah for it and continue to work for it. And the road ahead is going to be arduous, it's going to be difficult. So today is so very important that we relax that we take a break. So with the lost permission, that's what we're going to cover today is we're going to take a break. Uh, step two on the transition uh, and the transition steps is we're going to take a break. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at right now. Giving that title with the lost permission is we're going to take a break. Um, and what do I mean by taking a break? Number one, taking off your shoes. Take off your shoes. When it's safe to do so, go outside, remove your shoes and socks, and let your feet, feet touch the earth. Um, some of us um, know this, but, you know, if we feel angered or uh, we feel overwhelmed, um, taking a break, uh, saying, I will be lying in the regime, taking a deep breath, and then going and making a, performing a cold wudu, a slow cold wudu with cold water, then going and going outside, um, put your feet in the grass, Say, Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulillah. Then when you feel good, you feel like you can go inside, um, then return to return inside of your home. Ask Allah to make it easy for you. Ask Allah to make it comfortable for you. Pray to Akka. Um, pray, pray some sunnahs. Ask Allah to guide you. Ask Allah to protect you. And then see where you can go. Take a real break. Go somewhere. You know, if you can go for Umrah, go for Umrah. Um, if you can go out to the woods or go out to the lake or go out to the water or go out to the mountains, you know, do that. Ask Allah to make it easy for you. Um, go be where you can be reminded of Allah and Allah's blessings um, and the blessings that he's given us. Sometimes when we uh, feel overwhelmed or we're coming out of a transition, transition from something difficult, uh, we have that sense of cabin fever, like we're stuck and we can't get out, or like we're in a dungeon. And sometimes we have their, their feeling of uh, feelings of despair. Uh, Allah says, "Do not despair of the hope, and you know, don't not despair of the mercy of Allah or the hope that Allah has, um, that we have the hope in Allah." And so we ask Allah to continue to refresh that inside of us and that feeling of connectedness uh, and that's all this is this transition is just a means to get you closer to Allah whenever Allah takes something away from us he's saying hey I need you here and so I submit we hear and will obey we fully submit that's why we are Muslims we're one who submit our wills to Allah and so I submit I submit my will to Allah Allah I know that your plan is better than mine and I ask that you guide me, that you protect me, that you increase me, that you make it easy for me, that you elevate me. All of these things that you're reminding yourself of on this transition journey. So here we're going to take a break. We're going to take a break, take a break, take a break, take a break. You know, Allah says that his land is spacious. The world is first spacious. He created this earth spacious. And this is your world. This is your world. Allah is the Rabbil Alameen. He's the Lord of all the worlds. He's giving you this one. You just have to ask for it. So let's ask for it. Allah, I'm asking you for this world and everything in it with your mercy, your love, your forgiveness, your protection, that I may do only that which pleases you, that I may think about only that which pleases you, that I associate and align myself with only that which pleases you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's take a break. Get off social media for the day. And I know it's, we're getting into the, you know, these are the dog days of Ramadan. This is where, you know, you don't, people don't say Ramadan Mubarak anymore. Uh, your knees start to hurt or your feet start to hurt, uh, start to get bags under your eyes. You're starting to skip Sahur, you know, all these different things. 
now is the time to ask Allah for forgiveness, for guidance, for protection, uh, for yaqeen, for certainty, um, for tawfiq, for the ability to continue in the way that He has commanded us to. Um, but may Allah make it easy on us all. And so let us take a break. Let us be mindful um, of our health. Let us be mindful that we, of the journey ahead because it's going to be an arduous journey. So let's recalibrate right now. Let's let's get back to basics. Let's get back to um, let's get back to even. And we're going to do this by taking a little break. And so with the lost permission on this break, get you a good book, get you a book that you can read that um, kind of speaks to you as far as, you know, how to connect to, to, to your Lord, how to connect to Allah. Um, this book, The Four Agreements, this brother's not Muslim. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I can't say that, but um, you'll see, inshallah. But this book by Don Miguel Ruiz, The Four Agreements, that's some very key principles as far as uh, the four agreements that we make with ourselves. Number one, be impeccable with our word. Uh, number two, not to take things personally. Number three, um, not to make assumptions. And then number four, always doing our best. And I feel like those are four things that on our transition, obviously there's those are Islamic principles that that's found in the Sunnah. Um, but um, I think that's very important to tell ourselves when we're on this journey, when we're on this transition journey to tell ourselves, Hey, wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to be impeccable with my word. I'm going to do my absolute best. Number two, I'm not going to take things personally because whatever this person said or did, they didn't do it because of me, even if it feels like that, as much as that may hurt, but that's a reflection of where they're at right now on their personal transition journey. And of course, that's very difficult when we're transitioning out of relationships. Uh, you know, someone separated from their spouse or they're getting divorced. They feel like that person did that to them. Or maybe I feel like I did that to them. When, when in reality, no. In reality, we did that to ourselves. We did it to ourselves. And so we ask Allah for protection and for guidance and to uplift us and increase us uh, in love and mercy. And increase us in understanding that Allah is in control. Like we're going to do our best. That's the fourth agreement to do our best. Um, so let us do our best. Let us be impeccable with our word. Let us not take things personal. Let us not make assumptions. You know, oh man, Hamza didn't call me. Um, I called him at six o'clock and he didn't answer. Well, maybe I was preparing for iftar. You know, our, our, our Ramadan days, um, they're, they're topsy turvy. You know, you may get a call or a text at four in the morning. You're like, man, why would you text me at that time? Well, that's the only time that I have where I'm like, okay, let me respond or reply to this text message. So, Bismillah with the lost permission, uh, we're on step two. We're going to take a little break. And I did get this book from a brother, a good friend of mine. A brother gave me this book yesterday. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Um, I, I just read the opening. Um, and mashallah, it, it looks like it's going to be beautiful by Dr. Aid al Qani. So, inshallah, with the Allah's permission, um, we're going to dive into this. So, I'm going to do my, I'm, I'm, I'm doing exactly what I'm recommending, uh, which is taking a break today. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to relax. Uh, I'm going to get into the book, Don't Be Sad, um, and ask Allah for guidance, ask Allah for forgiveness, ask Allah for uh, well being. Um, because the journey ahead is going to be some tough times ahead, but if, inshallah, would be in the we can prepare for that, and we're going to do that by taking a break. So, alhamdulillah, uh, we're in the transition remix world, and I'll show you guys again. Um, this is the world, you know, we were on the platform, okay, but again, look at the road ahead. It's going to be a, it's going to be a road ahead, okay. This is a marathon, not a sprint, as they say. Um, but that's what we're looking forward to. So right here, we're going to take a break. We're going to make sure that we have enough fuel in the car. We're going to make sure that we have all, all of our lights. Um, all of our lights are right. You know, we we took a break or um, we officially retired. We transitioned. We said, Alhamdulillah, you know, I'm moving on. I'm going to do my best. And then now we're on step two. Now we're on step two. We're going to chill out. Okay. We're going to take a break. With the last permission, we're going to relax. And for those of you who are like, Hey, wait a minute. What is this green thing attached 
to our train. What is that? Well, after step one, with the law's permission, after we have written our official retirement state statement, we start to say Alhamdulillah. We do our best to praise the law and worship the law as best we can. And we do, the, we do our best to be thankful. Well, that's what this trailer is. This green tra trailer uh, represents gratitude. Living Alhamdulillah. So that's why we're taking a break. We're taking a break so that we can thank Allah for all the blessings he has bestowed upon us. Think about as many as you can. Say Alhamdulillah. Say Alhamdulillah for as much thing as you can while looking and being in the presence of, 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 of the nature of, of Allah's creation of water. Such a beautiful exercise, removing your shoes and putting your feet in the, in the water, putting your feet in the grass and saying Alhamdulillah and just thinking about all the things. Okay. So be in the with the law's permission. That's step two. That's step two. And then tomorrow, inshallah, with the law's permission, we're going to go to step three. And step three is, 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 is a little longer. As you can see, step three covers almost 40 pages of the journal. That's the bulk of the journal. That's, that's the meat and potatoes of the journal. And I'm going to go back to the transition remix world pictures so that you can see step three, you know, we're going to, you know, it's because after that break, you know, you take that break because you know, it's going to be a long road ahead, but guess what? Allah built you for this. Continually and constantly ask Allah for, for whatever it is that you're needing. Ask Allah for guidance, ask Allah for protection, ask Allah to increase you in all that is good. Ask Allah to make it easy on you. Ask Allah for that miracle. Ask Allah for that miracle. Ask Allah for that miracle that he has prepared for you and you alone. And then ask yourself, what am I willing to pay for this miracle? What am I willing to pay? What's the price that I'm willing to pay for this miracle that Allah has, he's promised me. It's, it's here. It's in the month of Ramadan. It's here. I'm going to go get it. So I want you to think about what you like. What's, what's the miracle that you're wanting? Whatever that miracle is, I want you to think about it. This is the, this will be a miracle in my life right now. And I'm, I'm talking about a true miracle, a true miracle. What's a true miracle in your life that you, you look and say, that's only from a law. That's a miracle. I want you to think about that. And then after you think about that, ask yourself, what price are you willing to pay to get that miracle, to attain that miracle? What price am I willing to pay to attain that miracle? That's why you're taking a break right now. You're taking a break right now because you're preparing, you're collecting the funds needed to pay the price for that miracle. With Allah's permission, you will attain that miracle. We are on the transition remix train. Choo choo, all aboard. There's no going back now. Allah has exposed you to the truth. Allah has exposed you to your transition. You can't go back to the old, the old ways. You can't go back to that sin. You can't go back to it. You've already asked Allah, Allah, distance me from that sin. Allah, forgive me for that sin. Allah, turn that sin into a good deed. Now I have the knowledge of it. Now I can be aware of it. Now, when people come to me and talk to me who are maybe engulfed in that sin or immersed in that sin, I can be of service. I can be a point of a, and a person who can, they can lean on me. And I'm speaking in a way not to try to expose the sins that I've had. But I'm speaking from a sense of empathy, of understanding, and asking Allah to heal them and to bring move them away from the sin, just as Allah that you've healed me and moved me away from that sin. Alhamdulillah, we're on step two of our journey, taking a break. We've already officially retired in step one. Step three, we're going to look forward to creating a schedule and a plan. This is Ramadan. This is the Ramadan transition. This is the transition remix. I'm your brother Hamza Abdullah. Please forgive me for my shortcomings and mistakes. I ask you uh, to continue, continue to work toward the miracle that Allah has promised you this Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.